What's up guys, how's it going? Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks and today I want to talk about a brand new feature with YouTube live streaming. It's called YouTube Chat Instant Replay. I think it's a game changer for live streaming because most of us that live stream get more views on demand, meaning after the live stream, and this makes the on-demand viewing experience incredible. Let's talk about it after this. Okay, so this feature is so fun and so cool that we're actually changing our entire live show format to fit around it, and I'll explain why. So let's look at our new show format. So we're getting rid of our pre-show completely, and the pre-show, the idea behind a pre-show is that you start live streaming a little early, give people a chance to get to the live stream, YouTube sends out its notifications, and you get everyone to your live event. And the reason why we would do this for the longest time is because uh, we like to, you know, get all those people to the, usually what happens is when you start live streaming, your peak uh, viewership happens within 15 minutes of live streaming. So if we thought if we started a 10 to 15 minute pre-show, we'd hit our peak at the very beginning of the show and everyone would get that hook and be really interested. But the problem was, is that that whole pre-show portion of the show is then part of the real video that's on demand forever. And I don't think people, when they come and watch an on-demand video, want to see 10 minutes of a pre-show. They want to just see the video that they're looking for. And people have low attention spans today, so I think it's a good idea to just deliver exactly the, the show, the meaty content, because most of our viewers, again, are watching on demand. So we're, we're getting rid of our pre-show. Now, in the past, we used to use the YouTube trim feature. You can trim your video. So when the live video posted, we would trim off our pre-show, and it was no problem. We had the pre-show. We got the uh, notifications out early. Everyone showed up uh, right on time, and then we would just get rid of the pre-show. Show. But the problem is, is that the pre-show does, uh, when you when you use the trim feature, it actually deletes slash removes the YouTube instant replay feature. What is the instant replay feature? Let's take a look at that first, I guess, huh? So let's go back really quickly. Here is a show. This is a fundraiser that we just uh, completed for the Chester County um the Crime Victim Center of Chester County. It was so much fun. And one of the things you can see here is that all the super chats are actually, uh, st they actually stay, which I love. So that gives people even more incentive to do their super chats because they're forever embedded into, um, you know, the chat and the instant replay. So that gives super chat even more value. Um, but just to demonstrate it really quickly, so in the very beginning, you can see here that, um, you know, there's just a few chats, everyone's saying hi. You can look completely live, uh, or you can have the top chat replay, which essentially uh, mixes in the top chats and the, the most important chats, let's say, the most viewed chats, and just because uh, sometimes if there's so many chats, YouTube will uh, slow it down for you and make it a little bit more digestible. I'm not exactly sure how they choose the top chats. It says some messages, and they also get rid of the potential spam and then try to make that not visible. So they're doing their best to optimize the chat. Um, but you can see here as the show goes forth, uh, you can see the people. And for this show in particular, where we were accepting super chats, triggering um, devices in the room, turning on a bubble machine, uh, turning on balloon machines as super chats were coming through, um, showing the super chats and who was giving them really adds a lot to the on-demand experience. So I was so happy to see that. So that's what Super Chat Instant Replay is. If you use, and I'll show this really quickly, we used to use this quite a bit, the enhancement feature to trim the video. And if you use this at all, the instant replay will go away. We used to trim away our pre-show. Now we no longer do that because it goes away. So that's what the feature is. Uh, briefly wanted to mention just a couple tips regarding how we use this feature and how it all works. So on we live stream to YouTube and Facebook. YouTube starts streaming as soon we use scheduled posts and the reason why we schedule the events is because then all the views and watch time is attributed to that video. If you use the stream now feature which is an API built into a lot of streaming software it just streams to your channel and then when it posts on demand it has zero views and zero watch time. So I, I recommend using the scheduled post. So we use a scheduled post in order to do that. You have to preview the, screen, the stream on the back end. Um, I think it's called the live 
uh, view center of the YouTube stream, and then you hit the start streaming button. When you hit start streaming, YouTube will start your stream, your video, pretty much at that moment, even a few seconds backwards, I've found, a few seconds in the past. On Facebook, they usually show a countdown timer to the scheduled times. So let's say we have a scheduled event for 2 p.m. It'll show a countdown timer, and we've found that when the countdown timer is between 10 and 20 seconds, right about 10 seconds, is when the live stream actually starts posting. So it's 10 seconds off. It doesn't start at zero. So because we're trying to start all of our shows at the same time, we will start streaming on our YouTube show 10 seconds before the Facebook countdown is zero. And then both of them are very close and then our shows start at the exact same time and we go ahead and get into our show and then on demand, which is I think the most important portion of the reason why we're creating these live videos, yes, we've got great engagement, yes, we've got a ton of live viewers and watch time and all of that great stuff for the algorithm, but the on-demand content is what's going to get the most views, so we want that on-demand content to be pristine, and I really think that this YouTube instant chat replay is going to make live videos come alive on the platform more than just a regular video that's uploaded. So let's take advantage of it, uh, and I think that this is a great technology. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with somebody on YouTube, somebody you know doing live streaming that maybe can benefit from this. Our website's got a lot of great info. You guys keep crushing it out there making great live videos and i'll talk to you soon